in a rectangle, PQRS. PQ is 9 metres, QR is 4 metres. This is 4, and therefore this is also 4. The force is 8 newtons, 12 newtons, and 16 newtons act as shown. So this 8 newton force acts here, 12 newton force acts here, and the 16 newton force acts here. Find the total moment of the forces about P. So the moment of a force, or sometimes known as torque, is the distance times the force. Now, if it is, if the for, if the if the movement is going to be clockwise, then it will be minus, and if the movement is anti-clockwise, then it will be positive. Okay, so it's going to be force times distance. Let's just have a look at this. The moment about P. So we're going to take this point P. What is the moment about P? Let's take the uh, anti-clockwise mo 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 moment. So this will be this one here because it's going to move the force move it around this way. So the distance is going to be four times sixteen, or sixteen times four, which gives me sixty-four. And the units are newton meters. The twelve newton force is going to make it move clockwise, but the distance here is going to be 9 so times 12, so it's going to be 12 times 9, so the clockwise mo moment will be 12 minus 12 times 9, minus because it's going clockwise. Now this 8 newton force, there's no distance from P, so it's acting directly through P, so the 8 newton force acts directly through P, and therefore its moment will be 8 times 0, which is actually 0 newton meters. So the total moment of force, the total moment of forces will be 64, take away 108 plus 0, which is going to give me minus 44 newton meters.